Hey there, it's Steve from MuseThemes.com. Let's look at our new widget called the Image Zoom widget. I think this is a really cool widget. So what you do is you can put an image on your page just like this, and when a user mouses over it, you can see that it zooms in. And the zoomed in version isn't some low res, terrible quality preview. This is actually zooming to a much higher resolution version. So it's a really cool widget. And as you can see, it looks quite nice. And then of course you just move your mouse off of the widget and it zooms back out. And setting this up in Muse is really simple. Let me show you how it's done. So I'll just create a new site so we can do this from scratch. Okay. And as usual, I'm going to remove the, the browser fill and the stroke. Okay, so now that we have that ready, let's drag our widget out onto the canvas. So if we go into our library panel, into our Muse Themes toolbox, and we scroll down to number 18, which is image zoom, and drag that out on the page. Oops, there you go. Okay, so as you can see, this kind of square frame appears. And if we look in the options flyout, there's only three options. So it's really simple to set up. You have the image file name, the box name, which I'll explain more about later, and the alt text for the image. So where we enter the image file name, the way that we link this up is we need to click file and add files for upload. You've done this probably in a few other of our widgets and just select an image that you have on your desktop or wherever on your computer. In this case, I've prepared an image called sample.jpg. And one thing to note about this image is that I made it a perfect square. It's 2000 by 2000. There's a reason I did that. So. Let's just click open and what this does is now if we look in the assets panel on the right you can see Muse is going to upload sample.jpg with our site. Now in this flyout panel we just need to enter the file name. I already have sample.jpg because that's the default value for the widget but I'll just enter it again sample.jpg okay and there so now if we preview this in the browser see how it looks. There you can see our original image shows up and if we mouse over it it zooms in. So it works perfect. It's really simple to set up. And if you were going to only use one of these on your page, this would be all you needed to do. Now, some users want to include more than one of each widget on the page, and that's where that box name comes in handy. So if we duplicate this over, so we have two of them, what we'd need to do in this case is where it says box name must be unique. Let's just change this to box two. And now we can include a totally different image in that box. The reason that we need those box names is because when we build these widgets, we need some way for Muse to recognize that each one is different. And so what the box name does is it basically applies it in the code to each element so that Muse sees them as different, different things in the site and can apply different effects to each of them. So I'll delete that one out for now. Um, one other thing that I want to point out here is that I built my sample image as a perfect square. There, there was a reason I did that. It's because if I was to scale this frame to a different proportion in Muse and preview it in the browser, you can see that it distorts our image. Now it doesn't distort it when you mouse it over. It always just displays the original you've linked up, but this preview is distorted. So the way that you can kind of get around that is you just need to use the same frame proportions as your image in or your original image. So in this case, um, let's say we were to link up, I have another one here called, let's go add files for upload. I have one called sample two, and you can see that it's a more of a rectangular shape or it's a little more widescreen. And this one's 2000 by 934. So if we link up sample two, and then let's just change this box to sample two. Okay. Now, if we preview it in the browser, it looks a little better, but it's still really distorted. So. In this case, I've got my Muse widget at about 487 pixels wide. And I'll just change this to 500 so it's a nice round number. So if I was to go in Photoshop and look at my original sample here, and let's just look at the image size. Right now it's to 2000. But if I went to 500, the height would need to be 234 pixels. And so if I go back to Muse and I just scale this widget down, you can see that the height is changing as I scale it and we'll go just around to 234 around there. So if I preview this in the browser now, you can see that it looks much better. So just keep that in mind that you need to actually make your frame size and muse at the same proportions as your original. 
And that's it. The last option in this file box is just for your alt text. And um, if you've never used alt text before, it's just for accessibility or SEO reasons. Um, every image on your site should have alternate text. So if somebody can't for some reason see the image, they can at least see a description of what is supposed to be there. So that's all. Um, if you click the terms of use flyout box, as usual, we have a link to our detailed instructions, which will probably just link to this video because that's all there is to this widget. It's pretty simple and I think it's pretty cool. So let us know what you think. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send us a note. Thanks again.